everyone welcome to the vlog and again welcome to our home but this time i welcome you to our bedroom come in nung huling beses akong pumasok sa bedroom i only showed you this wall but i didn't really show you the rest of it kasi hindi pa yun tapos so ngayon Kompleto na. All the elements are in. And so, I'm ready to show all of you how I actually kind of, um, ano ba? Renovated. Parang I made it a very different kind of space. It's the same old floor, only that I added some things to make it a bit different layout-wise naman. So, unahin natin ang, syempre, ang aking bed frame. O, di ba? aking bed for the bed namin okay and um these are like old cabinets i don't know if i mentioned na before na we're the second owner of this home so we're not the original owners of this one so we bought it like this and we maintained some things and also at the same time nag renovate ng ibang parts um so those cabinets we just took out the fabric that was parang the original design of the owner tapos ginawa na lang naming white and then Tada! This is my bed, our bed. Kasi co sleeping kami, so ibig sabihin bed ng lahat. <laughs> Actually, to be completely honest, hindi talaga ito yung totoong itsura ng bedroom namin. Sobrang ganda nito. Hindi kami natulog dito kagabi dahil sa sobrang yung ganda. Dahil kung dito kami natulog kagabi, di nyo na aabutan na maganda to. <laughs> but yeah, so this is where I sleep with my husband, and in the middle, or on the side is Manu. And then, on the floor, naglalagay kami usually ng bed for Philip. So, tinanggal lang namin for the renovation series um, purposes. But, yeah, that's how it is. And this one is made by Gentile. So, this is a new bed frame. Kayun lang po kami nagkaroon ng bed frame sa buong buhay namin na mag-asawa. Bakit? Kasi in the first few years of our marriage, Wala pa naman kaming money. So, sabi namin, kung meron kaming pera, ilalagay na lang namin siya sa magandang mattress kesa sa magandang bed frame. Tapos, ang ginawa namin sa una naming home, naglagay na lang kami ng paleta sa ilalim. So, maganda rin naman. Pero wala talaga kami, never kami nagkaroon ng bed frame. Just because, you know, we didn't have the money back then. Um, and now, may pera na, charot. <laughs> Umasenso na sa buhay. But also, after a few years kasi, even if we wanted to make one, um, nagkar naman kami ng baby, and having a baby meant na yung, if, lalo na we were co-sleeping back then, we didn't want the baby to fall off from the bed. So, sabi namin, sige, huwag na nga lang muna tayo magpagawa ng bed frame. And then, lumipas na yung panahon, nasanay na kami, and it's very nice to have like a floor on the bed when you have a small child kasi, they could just easily climb onto the bed and then climb down also, go down from it. Na hindi ka natatakot kasi ang baba lang niya. So, nasanay na kami ng ganun. Di naman problema sa amin. And then, nagkaroon pa kami ng isang anak ulit. So, never na namin. Hanggang sa nakalipat na kami ng bahay, hindi pa rin kami nagkaka-bed frame. And then, just now, Manu is almost three years old. We felt like, you know, I think it's about time <laughs> to have a bed frame. So, this is why we already have one by Gentile. Gentile, thank you so much. Okay, so th this is their gift to me, the bed frame, together with the side tables. Ayan. Sa side ko, meron akong candle, meron akong books. I always have books beside me because when the kids are already asleep, gusto ko na rin magbasa-basa for myself. Ganyan. And then I have my usual, if you saw my vlog on how our daily routine looks like, I have a couple of things that I drink at night if I'm not able to, you know, uh, wind down properly and if I need good quality sleep. So, nandiyan siya lahat, pati mga oils, ganyan. So, lumulola, tumitita na. <laughs> and of course, that one is um, my husband's side. Um, and this is Manu's stuff toy. <laughs> si Tunip. <laughs> Kung nanunod kayo ng Octonaut sa so mga anak ninyo, kilala niyo to. Um... Meron ding book si Philip doon. So, usually, all of our 
corners in the house or areas will always have something for kids. Actually, hindi pa to tapos kasi I'm going to add more books for them in this room. So anywhere they go, where may it be their room or downstairs, there is something for them na alam nilang para sa kanilang lang talaga. Okay, sige. So now, here, this is a rug. <laughs> oh, diba? No, pero maganda talaga tong rug na to. Ito ay abstract rugs. And I used to not really like rugs a lot. But habang tumatanda ako, parang nag yung taste ko. Ganun, ganun, ganun yata ang style, no? nag evolve din siya with you, with whomever is, you know, with you as well. But yeah, I find rugs and furniture to be worth your um, investment. Bakit? Kasi kahit lumipat ka ng bahay, nadadala mo siya. Yun yung thing ko about uh, good pieces of furniture and items, di ba? Home items. Kasi kahit na ano pang season ng buhay mo, pwede mo lang naman siya talagang madala. Okay? So, you saw this wall already before. Uh, this is uh, a Hardy Flex board that we installed. This was not here before. I don't know if you guys would remember or would recognize that this used to be the office area. Tapos, pinalagyan ko siya ng partition with the intention of Ta-da! You can come in! Creating a separate space inside. You're finally seeing my wardrobe! So welcome guys! This is my walk-in closet. For the first time, meron po akong proper uh, vanity. So you're gonna see it here. And nakuha ko tong lights na to sa IKEA. So for the first time po talaga, meron akong proper na yung parang kung saan ako pwede mag-makeup, ganyan. Dati kasi kung saan-saan lang, gi-invento lang ako ng space. And the reason for that being, uh, I never really needed one before. Tapos ngayon lang siguro sa buhay naming mag-asawa, ko na-feel na I can, uh, parang, uh, it would be nice to have one. So this is mine, Max, di ba? And then, um, these are like the cabinets. Again, these are modulars from, if you watched my other vlog, uh, Kitchen, you'll see all the cabinets there are modular. Ganun din to. Modular cabinets din to by my contractor, Ella. And I'll show you, I'll, I'll make you peek. So ito yung aking mga nakahang na pantalon, na mga damit. Ito, ito naman mga long dresses yan, ganyan. And then, you can also see here, yan. Pero naman, usual ko tong sinusuot. Halata. Panay active wear. <laughs> Tapos yan, dyan yung mga other stuff. The mga intimates. Then, uh, there are jackets here. Tapos ito, sa pinakalikod na namin nilagay dun na. Hindi mo na masyado makikita. Yung mga parang pang winter, ganun. And then, again, no, on the, on the hard, in the hard to reach places, ayan. Nandiyan yung mga hindi ganun ka usual ginagamit. So I still have to fix this honestly because I feel like marami pa akong uh, pwedeng i-improve. Lalagyan ko pa siya ng container pero isa-isa lang working in stages kasi hindi din talaga natin kaya na in one go. But I really wanted to show you already. And also magtatanggal pa ako ng gamit which is why I'm going to share with you a little tidbit on why. Um, cause my wardrobe used to be in that area, and you're gonna see it. It is now the office area or the office. Ang tawag sa kanya ay office area, home office. That used to be the wardrobe. Nilipat ko siya dito, and this is significantly smaller than the other one. Bakit ko ginusto ng mas maliit na walk-in closet? Kasi sa totoo lang, yung walk-in closet ko na yon dati na para min damit. Pero hindi ko naman talaga na susuot lahat. So, feeling ko, if I will shrink the space for keeping my clothes or my clothing items, they will significantly also shrink yung, yung, yung volume ng mga gamit ko. Diba? Mapipilitan ka kasi talagang magtapon. Hindi naman tapon, pero mabigay, magbenta. Oh, by the way, nagbebenta ako sa Once Mine by RPD on Instagram. Please, follow me there for my second-hand pre-loved items. Oh, diba? Nag-chromo pa talaga. <laughs> pero, yun nga. Parang feeling ko, the smaller your space is, the less items you will want to incur. And you would always think about adding new stuff. Like now, nag-add na naman ako. Inisip ko, 
siya sumisikip na naman yung cabinet ko. So, I need to let go na naman of a lot of things. So, yun yung aking personal reason kung bakit gusto ko ng mas maliit na walk-in closet. So, bakit ako lang din sa inyo? This is the side of, baka kalain nyo ako lang to, no? <laughs> May asawa po ako. <laughs> Yan yung mga gamit niya. Na, uh, mm, mm, ganda. Di alam na mag-shoot ako. Ginanyang ganyan na. Mm -mm. Talaga tong asawa ko, oo. Oh, oh. Hindi pwede sa mga influencer wives. <laughs> But yeah, so this is our walk-in closet. This is also a part of, like, he's got shirts here. Mm. Okay, hindi na naman niya alam na mag-shoot ako. Ito na naman. Okay, ganda. Sabi sa inyo, the most honest house tour talaga ever ako eh. Yan. So, yan. So, yan na yung aming uh, walk-in closet. Iwan na natin yan. At pupunta tayo dito sa part na to. O, di ba? Mayroon ako, gumawa na rin ako ng full body, ano ba? Ito yung ba yung tawag doon? Full-sized body, whatever. <laughs> Na-invento na naman ako ng mga ano. Mirror. Na may arch na ganyan. Tapos, uh, may frame, ganyan. Mga uso ngayon, di ba? So, wala lang. Kasi, we really needed something naman to... Uh, for the longest time also, I would not have any mirror. Napagtanto ko, maganda pala na meron kang salami na ganito kalaki. So, halika na. Papasok tayo. These are, ano, para sa mga madumi naming damit. So, laundry basket. So, we put all of our dirty clothes there. And then, we're planning to put... Uh, we'll, we're planning to get a projector. And then, the TV used to be here. So, parang maganda rin pala magkaroon ng projector. Then, maybe like a small projector screen here. So, that's something for the future. Hina house tour ko kayo sa future. <laughs> okay. So, ngayon, pasok na tayo dito sa aming... Tada! Come in, come in. This is our office. Niyan. Si ito yung luma kong wardrobe or closet. So ang laki, di ba? Na isip namin since nagpandemic, nagkaroon din talaga ng change sa lifestyle ng maraming tao, di ba? Hindi lamang kami, but even my husband who used to go to the office every day of his life now started working from home so we 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 felt the need for like a space where we won't be bothered if we really needed privacy or some silence diba minsan kasi we have calls and then everything's just happening in the background so parang na, na figure out namin a office would be great and so this is what we did so we have again modular these are actually old modulars na pinalipat lang namin dito from that area to this area and then we added more cabinets for storage oh okay hindi ko pala nasara ang vault ko baka manakawa ninyo ako ng sa namakmak kong pera charot so yan um so basically ayan lang naman ang meron tayo sa floor na to we had this glass board also so you can write on it um but truth be told hindi kami masyadong nagsistay dito for some reason um there are times when it serves its purpose naman talaga. Pero, ang na-realize ko talaga pag nagpapagawa ka ng bahay, minsan may imagination ka. Minsan yun yung need mo for the moment. Pero dahil nag -e evolve ka na tao at nag-iiba yung habits mo at yung mga seasons ng buhay mo, minsan kung ano yung na-imagine mo dati, hindi na pala yun yung totoo pagkatapos ng renovation. So, feeling ko nga, ito yung pinaka-least used area in the home. So, this is my space. Okay? So, continue lang natin. This is my space. This is an old ano, table already. Siguro, oh my gosh, 20s pa lang ako. I already get, Because this is actually from my lola. Can you imagine? So, this is really hers. Mga, ano ba, nine, sobra ba 1900s? Ay, mga ganun. <laughs> Basta ganun ka, kaluma na siya. Tapos, pa kung ano na nanagawa ko sa kanya, napadistress ko na siya. But it's really... Uh, ano ba da antique siguro talagang totoong uh, luma na tong ano na to that's why I never wanna let go of it and then this is our tabak <laughs> this used to be our old TV ano ba yan para console and then we figured we really needed something where we could just alam mo tinatambak mo lang lahat ng gamit na yung hindi mo pa maayos for the moment yan yung uh, that's what it is for <music> Saying, 
na medyo parang hindi hindi mo rin talaga masasabi if yung originally what you have planned for is going to work out for you. And I think that's um, basically the story of our life when making our home. Na talagang may mga bagay na dati gusto ka, tapos magiging iba na values mo later on. And I realized that so much na ngayon, no? Na meron kaming three floors. It's, this house is about 200-something square meters in total, no? And it's a whole lot of space. And I thought before that I liked to have that much space. And it is true. Okay naman talaga siya na may malaki kang space. Pero ang narealize ko pala, ang hirap pala maglinis ng malaking bahay. So ngayon, nag-iiba na talaga yung perspective ko tsaka yung value ko na parang mas gusto ko sanang mag-downgrade na lang. Parang if I had the choice, like right now, na lumipat sa mas maliit na bahay, mas gustuhin ko pala yun. O, oh, di ba? Ang weird ko. Mas gusto ko talagang mag- downgrade kesa mag-upgrade ng bahay. In that sense, ha? Yung, kumbaga, parang I want to upgrade in a lot of things like, um, say, appliances, more things that, ano, uh, cater to our values rather than, kunwari, having this much space tapos this much din naman talaga yung lilinisin. So, ang dami, dami mo lang talaga naiisip. So, abangan! Marami pa pong pagbabago sa buhay namin. Hindi pa nagtatapos dito. Kahit tapos na ang renovation series natin, hindi pa rin tapos ang pag-evolve ng buhay at bahay ng mga Bonifacios. Tapos na ang ating tours, pero hindi pa tapos ang ating learnings. So I decided to invite my designer contractor, Ella Navarro, to help us navigate through our desires to build or renovate. I asked her questions that can be useful guides when choosing people we can work with on something as personal as our home. Kaya nandito si Ella, kasi may mga questions ako sa kanya na sinulat ko na hindi ko mabasa. <laughs> Lumulola. Lola, Lola nyo. Hi, I'm Rika, your resident Lola. Chalo. So, ito na. O oh, sige, ang first question ko. Kasi... This and more on the channel next week. Kita kids!